Hello YouTube. I want to talk to you about Drift Week 3 because I've been working on it a lot. I'm trying to make Drift Week 3 really special and take it in a little bit different of a direction and develop the whole concept. So with Drift Week 1, we had no idea what we were doing. We didn't know if any of the cars would make it. I came up with an idea with some friends. We executed it. It worked way better than I thought. Uh, with all the YouTubers' help and the tracks and the other drivers and just everything, it went so, so well and told an amazing story. For Drift Week 2, I escalated everything. We did, I guess, just more of everything. More drivers, more crazy cars, more YouTube stuff, more collaboration between people, fantastic driving with more laps on track, just pushing the concept, more track time, more track time, more of everything. And for Drift Week 3, I'm gonna try and escalate things a little bit more by removing some of the street miles between events, which means we'll be doing more track time, and the way I'm gonna get that done is by region locking the event to just the Pacific Northwest. So now instead of just like road tripping America, we're gonna try and go get the flavor of one area. So we're gonna go to the Pacific Northwest and try and exhaust everything we can from there. That means we're gonna exhaust as many tracks as we can, as many mountain toge roads as we can, as many parties with locals as we can, as many like local drivers as we can fit in that fit the narrative and everything. Uh, as many professional drivers like Chelsea Nofa and Matt Field and Travis Reeder and anybody else that wants to join us on that front and Matt Kaufman. Um, as many YouTubers. So Hoonigan is supposed to be sending four YouTubers this time, I think. I think it's Hurt, Rob, Dan, and I'm not sure who the fourth person is. I need to talk to them. Donut Media is sending out a guy. Um, John Cerrone with uh, somebody else from their channel to drive an E36. Trevor should be back from Ocean Auto TV. Lots of grassroots guys. We have a lot of interesting cars. So we're gonna have more grassroots guys. That's important because I, I don't want this to just be some elitist thing where I have a picking process and I feel like it's elite and no one gets in. I want guys to get in. I want people to drive. I want this to be an amazing experience. Um, but I'm picking people for various reasons, such as their ability to create media, their ability to be a, one of the best drivers in the world, just a cool grassroots guy we want around. We're doing it as a training ground for some of the Pro 2 guys or Pro Spec guys, whatever you want to call it, that just got their licenses. So we have a bunch of those guys coming out to practice so they can go professional because it's the best place to get a ton of seat time. And I'm picking people because of unique cars. We have a NASCAR coming out this time that's been converted into something else. We have um, an F80 M3 from RK Tunes. He's bringing out a really new chassis. We've got a couple newer Mustangs, lots of Corvettes. Lots of interesting cars. Hopefully we have a C7 Corvette coming out. We may have a brand new 2021 manual transmission M3. That'll be super exciting. I think Adam's gonna bring an all new car, he said. Hurt from Hoonigan is supposed to bring a rotary car. I hope that's not true. I hope he brings that amazing GS, but I'm excited if he brings out a rotary car as well. So many of these guys are bringing out new cars. Trevor from Ocean Auto TV is probably gonna build an entirely new car for this. That's exciting. Uh, he built a 2JZ Mustang for one of the events and then he took it easy and just like rebuilt a wrecked uh, C6 Z06 for the last drift week. I'm just excited we have so much stuff going on. Let me look at my notes real quick. What else do we have going on? Um, oh, we've got some grassroots guys from Texas such as Patrick Carson that are gonna be joining us. That's super cool. So I have lots of my friends. Um, we do have public dates this time as well. I can't tell you everywhere we're going because some of the tracks are gonna be private, but I really want to include the public more with Drift Week. Now that we have it dialed, now that we know what's going on, now that we know we'll make it to these dates and we won't all be broken, we will be at Villain Sportsland on April 17th and 18th. On Saturday, on the 17th, we'll be there from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Everyone's invited to come out. And on Sunday, we'll be there from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Come on out. Uh, we'll probably have ride-alongs there. I'm not sure about all the rules there, but we'll probably be doing ride-alongs at a lot of these venues. You can come meet and greet the YouTubers and your favorite grassroots guys or the professional guys. We'll have open pits so you can see all the cars, probably sit inside of them, have a good time with people, chat with them, see how they're doing. And then April 23rd, which is a Friday, we'll be at Affinity Circuit down in Medford. Sunday, April 25th, we'll be at Pat's Acres down in Portland. All of those dates are open to the public. We have more dates that we'll be doing, but they won't be open to the public. Down at Pat's Acres, we'll be down there from 10 a.m. until dusk. And let's see what else. We just really wanna create an intimate experience for the spectators and involve them in this process. Before, originally, 
it was an online thing only for the spectators because I didn't know if I could create a good experience for everybody. And that's really important to me because I don't want anyone to have a bad experience. So for this one though, we will be, like I'm just confident that we can provide a good experience. So we really want you guys to come out and have fun and see. And like say at Villain Sportsland, is if the weather's good, we're gonna be doing some no prep drag racing to see who has the fastest car there, along with the Mahon style drifting at Villains and stuff. That'll be really exciting. Um, at Pat's Acres, we'll be doing a lot of ride-alongs and same thing with the Finity Circuit. I want you guys to be able to get in the like cars and experience these drift week cars, see what it's like to drive, you know, thousands of miles across the country and then like how the car holds up on track. And also just meet your favorite guys that you see on these trips and stuff and be a part of the videos. I just wanted to keep you guys updated on, updated on everything because I've been working and preparing for this trip so much. It takes months and months of planning to pull off a drift week. I have to interview dozens of tracks. I have to figure out what region of the country we're going to go, what type of path, how to like link all these tracks together and make sure they have time available. I have to interview hundreds of drivers to see you know, if they have the budget, if they have the car, if they have the skill, if they have the want and like the ability and also the attitude that merges with us and then also the references. I have to then go get references for the people and check up on them. So it's more than an hour of work for every person that I interview. Uh, and you know, I interview more than 100 to 150 people to come up with the correct amount of people for this trip. So I'm just so into it. I wanna tell you guys about this. And thank you for everyone that's been involved with Drift Week so far from the staff, the drivers, the applicants, the tracks, the viewers. Without you guys doing it, we could not do this Drift Week. And this is kind of like my labor of love at the moment, kind of like birthing it to the world. It is so hard and so much time and so much effort to do all this stuff. I just want to say thank you so much. It's been an amazing experience doing everything. Thank you to the YouTubers that help it, like tell the story and make the whole thing realistic and like give it to the world. Thank you to the world and all the viewers for finding interest in like what I love about drifting, which is having as many laps as possible and enjoying it with your friends and experiencing stuff and going different places and getting out of your comfort zone and operating a drift car differently and thinking about a drift car differently, pushing the envelope of reliability for drift cars and how we build them and how to enjoy them. It's just so much different than like the first 15 years of American drifting where we built unreliable cars that could only be trailered places. Everyone expected them to break every single day. Uh, we pushed the envelopes of, we, you know, like when you got a drift car, you would immediately strip it and throw everything away that made it comfortable. Anything that like kept it safe on the road, you'd throw away. You'd throw away anything redundant. You'd put terrible Chinese parts on it that made things adjustable, but uh, were not how do you say, like conducive to making the car a better overall car. You were throwing away all the original engineering and maybe for no reason sometimes. So anyways, it just, I love trying to like change the way people think about drifting. And I've been pushing this whole concept through Texas Street Legal and my Japan trips and my YouTube channel and stuff. And like it's culminating in all this Drift Week stuff. So thank you so much. I don't wanna waste your time with a 30 minute video. I just wanted to showcase some of this stuff. Thank you so much. 